Dr. Fizz here, Theoretical Physics, our first integral trick, the real imaginary trick. We want to integrate from 0 to infinity e to the minus ax cosine kx dx. a, of course, greater than 0, so that e to the minus ax will get smaller and smaller as x goes off to infinity. Now this integral is very, very tough to do as it is. Uh, we can try substitutions and things, we don't want to do that, and in the real imaginary trick you actually make the integral more complicated to simplify. In other words, we say, hey, we'll do two integrals. We'll do the cosine kx plus i sine kx, and that i is our protector. It separates the two. It keeps things separate so they don't mix up. So when I get the answer, whatever is real must have been coming from the cosine kx integration, and whatever is hitting the i comes from the sine of kx, and hey, you get the sine of kx integral as a bonus. So let's do this using the Euler uh, formula. Uh, we can replace the cosine kx and i k, sine kx with the e to the i kx. And now we have a friendly integral because exponentials are friendly. We have e to the minus ax plus i kx. And that integration is simply going to give us back the exponential with something in the denominator. I always like to check these going backwards. So if you take the derivative here, you get the exponential back, but then what you pull down is a negative a plus an ik, and it's going to cancel there, so you see it's going to work. And you want to evaluate from 0 to infinity. At infinity, we're going to get 0 because the uh, minus ax is going to kill things off. I kx, that's Euler's relation, it means sines and cosines, but this part here will kill it. And at 0, uh, we get e to the 0, it's a, it's a 1, minus 1, and the denominator is the same here, it just goes for the right, and that means 1 over a minus ik. We multiply top and bottom by the complex conjugate to free up the denominator in terms of complex number, so we get a squared plus k squared down there and a plus i k and now the fun part for the conclusion we compare real and imaginary parts the real part must go with cosine kx integration and the imaginary part with the sine of kx integration so i did my original integral plus another one a bonus integral in passing